So I'd just like to wrap up very briefly, really, by um, thinking about how this book contributes more broadly to the field of evidence and policy. Um, and I'm thinking about this partly in my capacity as a co-editor of the Journal of Evidence and Policy. Um, and so I was thinking <coughs> what comes out from this book that really adds to what we know already and, um, and therefore would commend you to buy it on that, on that basis, really. The first one is around the importance of politics, um, which is kind of runs right through this book and through the, the points that people have been drawing <coughs> out from it. And evidence-based policy has been very much criticised for being a kind of normative field, um, very much pulling on its roots in evidence-based medicine. And critiques from within um, political theory and political practice have been about kind of dismissing and distancing people in those fields from ev evidence-based policy, not about thinking, well, what can we learn from this, this kind of way of thinking and how can we capitalise on the popularity of the idea? And I think one of the most useful things about this book is that politics really seeps through the whole whole thing and is um and lots of bits of kind of interesting theory and ideas are drawn in to support that and that makes it a, a really original contribution um to the field and something that's much more kind of realistic and helpful for us in, in moving forward the the second thing is about the examples the rich case study material that's in this book that really brings to life a lot of the ideas that we discuss um in evidence and policy um, and they're just really lots of very interesting examples drawn from all over the world that just help us think about these things through, a, through different lenses. And I found that incredibly helpful. And the final one is just how practical this book is. And when you write a book nowadays, you're very much encouraged to have practical dimensions to it and checklists and a, you know, sort of almost teaching style books, despite who the audience is. But actually, in, in this field where a lot of the debate has been caught up in very... Um, very kind of esoteric discussions about the, the value of evidence. It's really um, critical to, to be thinking about how we move forward, how we don't just spend all our time thinking about kind of, you know, is this something we should be doing, but how can we actually have more evidence use in policy? And throughout this book, um, there are kind of checklists <coughs> and examples and, and kind of ways of thinking about doing things better. And I think they re reflect. Um, some recent developments in the field uh, more generally, which are about thinking about making policy making more informed. And Alan Best describes this as a kind of move from what we used to um, talk about as kind of linear models of change. So you get the evidence, you give it to someone, they change the world and we're all happy, um, to a more relationship-based way of thinking, which is that it's all about networks, it's who you know, it's making sure I've got the knowledge and I give it to you and you pass it on. Um, and to uh, the third, what he calls a third generation of thinking about knowledge and policy, which is a more systems approach where actually we need to recognise the importance of organisations and context. Um, but that none of these are in isolation. And I think what's really useful about the book is that a lot of what it says is at the systems level, it's about kind of politics and organisations and how they work. But it doesn't lose sight of these very important earlier steps that we still need to keep hold of, which is about how critical relationships are, how important people are um, as, as kind of individuals, but also as groups. And also that the, some of these very sort of, um, well, not basic, but these more uh, linear uh, aspects of, of thinking about evidence and policy, we should also not lose sight of. And I think the photo book is a really good example of that. So there are actually um, lots of very practical things, aside from the big politics, aside from the relationships, there are practical things that are about getting evidence to people that are about using communication and creativity um, that we can get so caught up in how complex and political everything is that we forget that sometimes it's about making sure somebody can access your website or you give the book or the flyer to the right person. And that if we keep sight, sight of those very important kind of information dimensions at the same time as thinking big and thinking ambitious, then we can really have a kind of comprehensive approach to thinking about a better role for evidence in the future. So I think a great book and a definitely a contribution to the field, not just within international development, but also in other policy fields. Um, and we would like to review it for our journal. So if anyone here would like a, a complimentary copy to write a book review, then please come and find me afterwards. <laughs>